Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing an updated hair favourites video. It's been a while since I did one of these. Generally they're not that popular on my channel, which is why I don't do hair videos that frequently, but a lot of you have been asking in the last few months for me to do an updated video. So here we are, I am going to film that for you today. Hopefully, fingers crossed, you will all watch it till the end. Anyway, my preferences with my hair have semi-changed since I last did my previous video. So obviously my hair is a lot longer. My hair used to be up here and with me not having it cut as frequently, I need to take a lot more care over my hair and make sure that I don't damage it with heat products etc. Also, I am mid-perimenopause, so I am worried about hair loss, about brittle hair, about breakages. I want my hair to be really healthy, really soft and very supple, as well as it looking voluminous and bouncy. And for somebody that has really flat, fine, lifeless hair, that can be a challenge because I not only want it to look voluminous for a day, I want days worth out of the, the volume of my hair. I want it to look good for a while, or at least until the next wash, which can sometimes be a while for me because I tend to wash my hair every three days, four sometimes at a push. If I can get an extra day out of it, I definitely will do. So let's get on with it. If you're new here, hi, my name's Gemma. I upload new content on YouTube every single week. At some point in this video, if you are finding it helpful, if you're enjoying what you're watching, please consider clicking on the like button, the subscribe button and the notification bell. I have also changed the shampoos and conditioners that I've been using, really focusing on scalp health as well as hair health. So I use a couple of different shampoos and a couple of different conditioners. The majority of the time, as you can see by the size of these, I use Nioxin 4. So this is a shampoo for colored hair with progressed thinning and this one is the conditioner for the same. And I have had great success with these. These are supposed to really look after your scalp health. They have a minty menthol -y feel and you do feel a slight tingling on the scalp when you're using these. These are really supposed to clear off any of the debris and really detox the scalp. Get rid of all the gunk from any previous shampoos, conditioners, any environmental aggressors in there, any residue that's been left behind by any hair products that you're using that really embed themselves in the follicles of the hair. These are really good at getting rid of those. Now, I can't really say whether these have stopped any shedding of my hair or whether they've volumized my hair at all. But after about six months of use, I did go to my hairdresser, Laura, and she commented on the fact that my hair looked fuller. So take that as you will. I'm not saying that these work. However, I do feel like I have much better scalp health. And if your scalp is clear, the hair has room to grow and you get a much better, healthier hair follicle. So um, I am no hair expert, but this seems to be working for me. And I've probably used it now for a good eight to nine months and um, went through the smaller versions of these, decided to buy the big versions. And uh, if you use my code on Fantastic, you get a discount, so bonus. <laughs> So like I said earlier, I do generally reach for my Nioxin every single time I wash my hair and condition my hair. However, every sort of fourth or fifth time that I wash my hair, I do like to treat it with a different shampoo and conditioner. I think it does do your hair quite a lot of good if you mix things up a little bit and don't use the same thing all the time. So I like to use the L'Oreal Professional Metal Detox Shampoo and the Metal Detox Mask. And this really does my hair a lot of good. So I also use another Metal Detox product, which I'll share with you a little bit later on. But the whole point of these shampoos, masks, and other products in the Metal Detox range is that in the environment and also in the water that you wash your hair, there's a lot of metal in the air and in the water and that attaches itself to your hair 
and it makes your hair really brittle and extremely breakable and as you can imagine metal is really hard and it's really rigid so if you're trying to brush through the hair and make it flexible that hair is going to break if it has a lot of metal particles within the hair strand. So the whole point of the metal detox range is to get rid of all the metal that is within the hair, making it much stronger, more flexible, more supple and much softer. So that's the reason why I use the Metal Detox brand. Absolutely love it. And honestly, it smells gorgeous. If I could have everything in my collection smelling of the Metal Detox shampoo, the mask and also the leave-in oil, oh my goodness. If you've used it, you will know what I mean, but it's just divine. It seriously is. And it works. So I don't feel the need to use the Metal Detox range every single time. I wash my hair. I do think the nioxin does my hair a lot of good and obviously looks after my scalp health as well. So that's the one I reach for most often. But every now and again, I do like to treat my hair with the L'Oreal Professional Metal Detox range and I love it. So obviously my hair is getting much longer and because I'm not having masses of hair chopped off every single time I go and see Laura, I have to take more responsibility in moisturizing and hydrating those ends so that they don't become really brittle and start breaking all over the place. So I've invested in a hair mask, which I use. It does say on the instructions to use this every single week. However, because I only wash my hair maybe twice a week, I use it every two weeks and find that this this is enough for me. There is always that risk with a hair mask that it's going to weigh the hair down, but I don't feel like this one does. In fact, I am in love. And this is another product that smells glorious. It truly does smell really beautiful. This is like no other hair mask that I have ever, ever tried. It's from Chris Appleton and Colour Wow and it's the Money Mask. This is supposed to give super glossy, expensive looking hair. I'll let you be the judge of that, but I do think that this fills my hair full of hydration and nourishment without weighing it down. And uh, I do like to really treat all the ends. I don't go all the way up to the root. I don't think it's necessary, but I do treat all the ends of my hair, really concentrating and massaging it in, into those ends. Now, the reason I say that this isn't like anything I've ever had on my hair before, it's a little bit slimy. It's a very bizarre consistency. I'm not quite sure if you can really see that on camera. My daughter used to make slime in our kitchen using glue and um, I'm not quite sure what other ingredients she put in it, but it used to cost me a fortune <laughs> and it used to last a couple of weeks and then she used to make some more. This has a similar consistency. So it's not a creamy consistency at all. It's it's quite a goopy, slimy consistency. And I know I'm not selling it to you, but it's my job to be real with everybody. It's a very bizarre consistency, but once you've picked some up, which can be difficult in itself because of the consistency, and then just massage it in between your fingers to warm the product up before you pop it in the hair, much easier to deal with, but the product works. And you know, that's the main thing for me. And uh, really smoothing, it doesn't make my hair frizzy, doesn't weigh my hair down, just really love it. Another reason I really like this mask is that you only need to leave it on for three to five minutes. So you can pick what you do. You can obviously leave it in for longer than that, but you don't have to. So if you are in a rush, you can still treat your hair with love and kindness and have a mask on it but it only takes three to five minutes and you can be doing other things while the mask is on your hair. This also isn't just nourishing and hydrating. It has lots of lovely antioxidants in here and it also has something called Procopil Complex, which helps to anchor the roots and lessen hair loss. And I don't use that for this, or rather I don't use this for that, but uh, it's a bonus. 
For those of you who are wondering where all of the Olaplex products are that I used to rave about, I still think they are phenomenal products, but my hair has moved on slightly from Olaplex. Every sort of three to four months, I still use Olaplex Zero with then Olaplex Three just to rebuild the bonds of my hair, just to give it that little bit of extra strength. I've used a lot of products that call themselves dupes for Olaplex. I just don't feel like they're on par with what Olaplex does for my hair. But again, I don't feel like I need to use Olaplex every single week. It's every three to four months for me and my hair really enjoys it, but I don't feel the need to use it all the time. Generally, the next thing that I do is apply my hair turban. Now, this is a quick dry hair turban from Aquis or Aqui, not quite sure how you pronounce it. I have tried so many hair turbans. I've tried really inexpensive ones. I've tried mid-range ones. I've tried the expensive ones. This is around about 30 pounds in the UK. So I would say that's quite expensive for a hair turban. Honestly, this is the best one that I've tried because of that quick dry function. A lot of the others, my hair is still wet and um, I really like this because of the quick dry aspect. A lot of the products that I apply to my hair before I dry it have to be applied to towel dried hair. And uh, I don't want to be rubbing a towel on my hair because I want to make sure that my hair is well protected and it doesn't break with any aggressive movements. So this allows my hair to be towel dried without me really even touching it. There's no rubbing, there's no pulling of my hair at all to try and get all the excess water out. You just apply this onto your head, tie the little button at the back, which means it's absolutely phenomenal. You can wear this all the way around the house and it doesn't fall off your head, which is superb. I've even got dressed with this on and it doesn't come off fantastic. So yeah, it just means that your hair can be towel dried without you doing any aggressive motions on your hair whatsoever. It also lessens the time that I'm getting ready because my hair is already done pretty much by the time I take this off. Next thing I use is the L'Oreal Professional Vitamino Color 10 in 1 Professional Milk. I have been using this now for years. There's lots of things that this product does, um, but I use it for heat protection. That is my main thing. I also use something else that can also be used as heat protection, but this one is so lightweight, it doesn't weigh my hair down, whereas the other one, if I use it too often, can weigh it down a little bit. So one, it's a heat protecting of up to 230 degrees Celsius or 450 degrees degrees Fahrenheit. Two, it helps with the shine of your hair. Three, it's got a lightweight touch, which is perfect for me and anybody else that's got really fine, limp, lifeless hair. Four, it helps with smoothness. Five, detangling. Six, blow dry facilitation. So it really does help to quick dry the hair. Seven, nourishment. So it is quite hydrating in itself. Eight, anti-breakage, which I definitely need. Nine, anti-split ends and 10 anti-frizz. So all of that in one product. And B also loves this. She was stealing it constantly. So I bought another one for her to have in her room because I was fed up of going in and getting it. So <laughs> this one is great. And I apply this all over the hair from root to tip. This next one is the Metal Detox Leave-In Oil. This does exactly the same as the Metal Detox Shampoo and Conditioner. It also smells exactly the same. It is just a stunning fragrance. It really, truly is. I cannot get enough of this. I have to stop myself applying too much. So this is the product that if I use too much too often, it will weigh my hair down. It is super lightweight, however, but I don't use this every single time that I wash my hair. So this is not a regular within my hair routine. I would say maybe every three washes I'll use this. I just don't feel the need to use it any more than that, but it just makes my hair feel so silky soft. I have never in my life had my hair feeling so silky and smooth and oh, just, I couldn't, I just can't stop running my fingers through it every time I've used this. So um, like I said, not every single time I use this product, but it is 
lovely, smells gorgeous, and definitely does a job at boosting, removing all those metal bits in the hair to make your hair softer, smoother, and less brittle. The Metal Detox Leave-In Oil is also a heat protectant, and if you have coarser hair than mine, a little thicker hair than mine, you will probably be able to get away with using this from root to tip. But because I have fine, limp, lifeless hair, how many times have I said that in this video? I only use this on the ends, so I need a different heat protectant for the top of my hair from root to tip. And then this one is an added bonus heat protectant, but I primarily use this for the metal detox capabilities. Next up are the volumizing products. I want to get a real lift from the root to make it look like my hair has more volume. I have more hair, but not only that, I want my hair to have volume for days. I want it to last. And all three of these next products do that for me. I don't prefer one over the other, which is why I'm going to include all three. However, I do not use all three at once. I only use the one. So I'm gonna show you the consistencies of these products. So if you are wanting to try any of these out, you can pick the consistency that you feel like you get on with most. So let's first go to the Dry Bar Southern Bell Volume Boosting Root Lifter. This stuff is gold and it gives me volume for days. It's more of a mousse-like consistency, but it's very precise to spray directly at the root. So it's a really easy product to get in the hair. You can also apply this to your hand and then pop it in the root that way. You can actually apply this all the way through your hair if you want volume all the way to the ends, but I choose to just apply this at the root and then blow dry. Next up, we have a semi-newbie, the Olaplex Volumizing Blow Dry Mist. In my opinion, this is probably the easiest one to apply to the hair because it's a watery spray. So I just tend to lift the hair up and just spray where I want it and then section it off, do it again, lift it, spray. So again, you can apply this all through the hair, but I just like to apply it at the root and volume for days. This does not leave any sort of residue in the hair, whereas the Southern Bell Volume Boosting Root Lifter, although my hair still feels like my hair, you can feel a little bit of product in there. You can't feel any product in your hair when you've used this. Because of that, however, if you do have coarser, heavier hair, I'm not sure this would work for you. So if you do have coarse, heavy hair and you've had experience with this product, please do let everybody know in the comment section. For me, it works a treat, but I'd love to get your thoughts on it. Last up, we've got the Color Wow Extra Large Bombshell Volumizer. This stuff is superb and it's the one that I've used in my hair today. I don't know why I've used this in my hair today because I find this the most difficult to actually get in the root because of how the product is formulated. This is like a foamy mist. It's like a sea foam. So it goes on, it's not moussey, it's more foamy and then it turns into water pretty quickly. So you have to be quite quick when you massage this into the hair if you choose to apply it directly to the root, which I've done today, which it would have been a lot easier just to apply it in the palm of my hand and then go in, but you know, I like a challenge. It can be a little messy. I think I got some down my top at one point, but it's a great product. And once again, very much like the Olaplex Volumizing Blow Dry Mist, you cannot feel any product in your hair. So uh, superb product for volume and hold, volume for days. All three of these volume for days until the next wash. Just love it. And if any sort of volume does go a little bit, I just do this with my hair and um, it's got a little bit more boomph. Is that the word I'm looking for? Oomph, not boomph. <laughs> Then I dry my hair. Now I use my Dyson Airwrap with the brush smoothing attachment, which I just think is stunning. It's superb and it gives me great results. However, I don't really use the Dyson Airwrap to the best of its potential because I really only use 
Sometimes I use the blow dry function on the end, but the majority of the time, I only really use this attachment. I don't curl my hair with the curling wand attachments. I, I don't use any of the other attachments that come with the device. So I paid a lot of money for this and I really only use one function of it. But the reason I like it so much is I am not ambidextrous, so I can't really hold a brush with one hand and hold a hairdryer with the other. And also I find hair dryers are a little bit too hot for me. And this one, although it does heat up and it's going to dry your hair, it's not as hot as a regular blow dryer. It does look after your hair better than other ones. If I was recommending this and you're only going to use this attachment, there are other ones that you could use that will give you a similar look. So the T3 Airbrush Duo Blow Dry Brush would be one of the ones that i go for, but also the Revlon Pro Collection One Step Dryer and Volumizer is another one that's way more affordable than going for the full Dyson Airwrap, but um, I wouldn't be without mine. It's just, yeah, it was very, very expensive considering I only use it this way. <laughs> A lot of the time when I've dried my hair, that's how I'll leave it, especially if I know I'm going to be putting it up or clipping it or something to go out and watch a football match. I won't really straighten my hair, but sometimes, especially when I'm going on camera and filming for everybody, I do like to defluff the ends. Not that my ends get super fluffy after I've used all the products that I've just spoken about, but sometimes you just need a, a little bit more of a style. So I invested in the GHD 2-in-1 Hot Air Styler. This is the Duet style, so this also dries your hair and it straightens it. I've stopped using this as a hair dryer more frequently because of the heat of this device and you can't turn it down at all, which is why I try not to use it if possible. I did have some other straighteners that I could turn the temperature down on and I've no idea where I've put those. I bought this, I loved it and I still really do like it, but now my hair's a lot longer and I'm not having as much cut off and I know I've got to look after it because the ends of my hair have got to last as well as the roots. I tend not to reach for this as often, only if I need to straighten it at all and take a little bit of the fluffiness out of the ends. So I've used this one today and I really, really like it, but obviously you could achieve the look with any straighteners. Right at the end of styling my hair, I do like to pop a little bit of dry shampoo in my roots. So I part my hair exactly the same way that I would do with the volumizing products and then just spritz a little bit of dry shampoo through the roots. This will give a little bit of longevity to my shampoo and hopefully make my hair last a little bit longer. This was a tip that was given to me by my hairdresser, Laura. She says that you don't wait for your hair to get get oily or greasy before you reach for the dry shampoo. Apply it on day one and it will prevent your hair from getting oily and greasy. And I think another Pampered Wolf Pack member also told me that as well. So I've been doing that ever since and getting way more out of my hair before I have to wash it again. Again, three, four days. On day four, if I leave it four days, it is up, it's not down, but I can get a good three days of wear out of my hair by spritzing a little bit of dry shampoo into the roots. The one that I used today was the Moroccan oil dry shampoo in light tones. However, this isn't my favorite. I don't have any of my favorite at the moment. I'm waiting for a delivery. My favorite is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo. And that's my favorite because it also gives a little bit of texture and boost of volume to my hair. Whereas this is just a dry shampoo as far as I'm concerned. It doesn't give a lot of volume if any at all. So it's one dimensional, whereas the Living Proof product is multi-purpose. 
Every few days I do like to use this. I tend to use this just before I wash my hair. So I use this on dry hair. This is a scalp massager and it looks lethal, but actually it's very, very flexible and it's very comfortable on your head. So uh, yeah, this doesn't hurt at all. It's just a great way of releasing any grime that's actually impacted into your scalp before you wash your hair. So I actually used to use this when I was shampooing my hair. I used to massage and lather in the shampoo with the massager. I then watched a video about using one of these and they say that it's detrimental to your hair to use this on wet hair because it puts unnecessary strain on the strands of your hair and you could actually pull the hair out of your head. Whereas when it's dry, it just, you don't do that or you've got less chance of doing that. So this is really great to loosen off that debris from the scalp and a healthy scalp grows healthy hair. So you don't want anything blocking any of the hair follicles from coming through the scalp. So I guess this is one of the ways that you can do that. And I also find it incredibly relaxing as well. So just get that into the hairline, really massage that all over the scalp and it feels lovely and it's supposed to create a much healthier scalp. So that's it. They are all of my hair favorites that I'm using at the moment. Just because I haven't mentioned a product that I used in a previous video that I love doesn't mean I don't think that that product is any good anymore. It's just that with age, hair changes with hair length, our priorities change. So these are the products that I'm really, really loving and have been loving for a considerable amount of time. So hope you found this video helpful. Please don't forget to give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't already, come and join the family and hope to see you all in the next video. Bye everyone.